All right, so with no surprise, this is just another prime example of our own people pushing the negative stereotype created by the dominant white society. Um, so this is a clip that has gone viral, uh, which is posted on this guy's Facebook page on January the 9th. Um, some teenage black teens are going shopping at H&M and they're acting like monkeys. So I'm gonna play the clip and come back with my commentary, guys. Here you go. All right, so as you saw there, they think it's fun and games. They don't care about that. You know, um, having the coolest monkey in the jungle and having that as a stereotype so-called in their eyes, it's nothing. It's a joke. You know, you can say they're trolling and you can say they're just having fun out there. Completely dismissive, completely. This is beyond ignorance, right? This is this is when this 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 is basically when you fail as a parent. That's what it comes down to, right? This comes down to you failing as a parent to teach your child the basic fundamentals of how this country was created. That's what it is. It's point blank and simple. And, and I always talk about and always preach about how important the black family structure is. And judging by these teens behavior, there was no structure at all. No one taught them anything about the history of how this country was built, why this country was built this way, how your ancestors got here, etc. And it started over 500 years ago during the transatlantic slave trade. And, you know, unfortunately, like I said, this is an issue that's not only happening domestically. This is an international thing. Racism, white supremacy is global. And it affects us on a daily basis to the point where this affects our mental health, our mental psyche, right? It's a thing called, as you know, one of the mental disorders that I talk about, Stockholm Syndrome. Um, and apparently the mother also of the, the model, the child model, doesn't care either. She doesn't care about her son being labeled as a monkey, the coolest monkey in the jungle. She never understood or doesn't understand or care about that. She said that people were overreacting in her social media post that I just found out about. Um, so again, this is, this comes down to how you are teaching your children at home. Right. That's what it comes down to. Point blank and simple. Um, these teens acting like monkeys and just paid their money to shop at H&M. That just shows you that there are upcoming generation, the millennial or the post millennial generation, which is Generation Z. That's the children we're raising. I'm raising generation children, Generation Z children. We're not teaching the values and the core systems and the history of our people and this worldview, right, of our history, this is the end result that you see. This is the end result that you see with this mother of her child model, where she just basically says people are overreacting to the coolest monkey in the jungle, in the jungle hoodie sweatshirt, right? Because as long as you look good or as long as you pay your money to look good, it's all it's OK. It doesn't matter what your check signer is saying to you or even doing to you, as long as they're actually paying you or giving you some services that you require. None of that matters at all. According to them. And that is the lesson that's lost when raising our children, teaching them the core values of who you really are. 
right? As I said before, we're, we're, <laughs> we're nowhere near monkeys. According to our DNA haplogroups, this is a scientific fact, and I always say this, people classified as white are closest to the monkey, closest to the rhesus macaque, closest to the troglodyte nigger than black people. Those are facts. See, but they don't know that. And even if they did, they wouldn't care. You, you show them facts because they're so far gone in their mental disorder. Right. That anything you say to them, which is basically cognitive dissonance, anything you say to them doesn't matter because they're already they're They're already. They're already reserved in their in their ways. OK, and, and, and again, that's what it comes down to. So, uh, like I said, I'm not surprised by this, but at the same time, this is an end result. This is a failure of our black family structure, seeing these teenagers going to H&M, paying their money, walking out, acting like monkeys, pushing the negative stereotype that is a fallacy created by the dominant white society. OK. This is a fallacy. They don't know this. They don't seem to care. Right. Yeah, so. They don't seem to care and they don't notice they they are our children we are raising at home. And this is the end result of our of us as parents failing our children based off that behavior point blank and simple all right family so um those are my thoughts on that i'm pretty sure there'll, there'll be other h&m drama this week or in the upcoming weeks or so um as far as h&m goes as a business the stock is continuing to plummet um it's been an all-time low this week um and i'm glad it's happening I'm glad it's happening. Um, but people like this, <laughs> people like this are helping their stock become stable because they're still going to the stores and shopping. You know, I called for a boycott as soon as I found out about this. And it is it's an indefinite boycott. But uh, we still got a lot of our ignorant people out there and our failed parents who allow their children to shop here. Um, this is going to be a long battle, um, a long, long battle before we see any end results. But again, like I said, um, there's going to be more stories coming out of this. I'm, I'm not surprised by this at all. And um, whatever comes up, I'll be sure to share with you guys in my commentary and thoughts. But anyway, family, until next time, thank you for you, you guys uh, subscribing to also my um, Black Junction TV page make sure you continue to subscribe i will have some upcoming exclusive content on there uh this weekend so be on the lookout for that all right family also follow me on my other social media channel uh, platforms instagram the black separatist twitter black separatist uh blackspot.tv as well coming up and blackspot.com all links will be down below in the description all right family until next time chauncey aka the black separatist signing out peace